The upcoming election has posed the question of whether certain psychedelics ought to be legalized, with regulations, of course. If passed, use of certain non-synthetic psychedelics, such as psilocybin, under supervision by a licensed individual, would be legal for people over the age of 21. People over 21 would also be able to grow a small quantity of these substances inside of their homes or private spaces. If not passed, then current law, which prohibits use and production of these substances, would stand. A poll of 700 Massachusetts voters taken on October 10th projected this question to be the tightest on the ballot with an equal 43% approving and disapproving, and 14% of undecided. We asked advocates for and against the initiative and medical professionals for their opinions. Massachusetts for Mental Health recently stated that the measure will create a carefully regulated therapeutic program for adults to access natural psychedelic medicines that show promise for treating serious mental health conditions. Under question 4, natural psychedelic medicine therapy will be administered under the supervision and guidance of a trained licensed professional at regulated therapy centers. Retail sales of psychedelic medicines will not be permitted. Voting yes on question 4 will give veterans, patients with end-of-life distress, and people who are suffering access to these life-saving mental health tools. I oppose question four. If the intention is to decriminalize and make safe use of psychedelics possible, it does not get, reach that goal. It's going to allow for personal use uh, quite quickly and easily. It decriminalizes four, I believe it's four different um, psychedelics two of which can be quite dangerous. Um, many of them, uh, especially in high-risk populations, such as people with pre-existing mental health conditions, uh, are actually at higher risk of side effects from the medications or from the psychedelics. There is a lot of research in uh, treatment-resistant conditions such as anxiety, PTSD, um, and, and that has been helpful where patients who up to now hadn't gotten any good treat, there are ways to use these medications um, in a safe way, in a monitored way. The other thing is in, whenever there's treatment resistant issues, it's usually you want to look at the whole picture. It's not just you're not finding that magical drug or that magical treatment. It's the whole combination of treatments and, and supports that are needed as well. Massachusetts Coalition for Safe Communities recently stated that in Massachusetts, DUIs and drug driving have already been on the rise. Studies show one in three frequent psychedelic users report having driven under the influence of hallucinogenics in the past year. We need to focus on making our roads safer, not more dangerous. Drug intoxication of children and pets have also been on the rise nationwide. The availability of edibles, decriminalization of possession, and an overall increased use of drugs are the main causes of this growing problem. Legalizing psychedelics and allowing for home growth will put more children and pets at risk of accidentally consuming these drugs. Thanks for watching, and remember to make your voice heard through voting on November 5th.